Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Good morning. Okay. So, so for those, yep. Okay. So we. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> We're gonna tackle the whole cluster. Okay. Uh, because we have five psukim left, and uh, and and four days. All right. And also, I feel like it'll be good to just get this all in uh, in the full context anyway. Yeah. What? No, I'm just. Oh, you're. Everyone's tired. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you're here though. That's the important thing. Okay. So, uh, so we had. So, just, I, I put the two we did last week on here just so we can have them in part of the context. So we had lemi oy, lemi avoy, lemi midyanim, lemi siach, lemi p'tayim, chinam, lemi chachli v'zanaim. So, to whom oy, to whom avoy, to whom conflicts, quarrels, or strife, to whom prattling speech, to whom needless wounds, to whom bloodshot eyes. Answer: lema achim ahayin, labaim lachor musach. To those who linger over wine, to those who come to investigate from mixed wine, or to who come to investigate the uh, to test the mixture of wine. Uh, here you can distribute those accordingly, please. Okay. All right. So then we have. Uh, there's going to be a lot of translation today. Okay, so I'll we we actually read this last week. Okay, so I'll tear it yain ki yis adam. Don't be afraid of wine. Uh, I'll don't tear it. Don't look at wine. Don't look. Do not look at wine. Ki yis adam when it when or yeah. Uh, I think everyone interprets it here as when. Uh, when it is red. It is becoming red. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, ki yitin. Uh, yeah. Ki. Now this one I think is also when, when or no, this is, this is for Kiyitin Bakos. No, actually I'm not sure. Kiyitin Bakos Eno Yishalik Bemeshering. This is a weird one. I think it's this is a key uh, because right. Kiyitin Bakos Eno. When you give the cup your eye. Right. Race. Yeah. So so when so obviously you're not poking out your eye to the cup, right? right. When you look at the cup, when you yeah, when you look at the cup with your eye, and then here is a creek sieve, which is interesting, right? Um, mm. Right. What, what what does that make you mm, about? Uh, with your like, money pouch? Yeah, with your wallet, right? Wallet. So this is the uh, sieve is the wallet. What does that make you think of? Anyone? Um, money on wine. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right. So that's the uh, the Gemara, and uh, I had to look where it was in Ervin. Through three things, a person is discerned. Um, I never heard of that. I didn't hear the full of the memory. Uh, so let's see if Rashi explains this. Um, because, so through three things, things a person is uh, discerned. Um, meaning if you're, a, if you're a quality person. Bacoso is uh, if his das is settled with his wine. Okay, I, that's not how I understand. I heard it like, like you know, certain truths come out when you are. Uh, well, it could be. It could be that Bieno can mean either that like he has a good relationship with it, or that right. like, when he drinks it, like he's not this crazy. Yeah, yeah. Rashi seems to be in terms of uh, much more on the side of like how your das is, like in other words, how you manage your wine, basically. Yeah, you know, how you manage your drinking. The only thing no? What? The only thing there, so he, That's true. It's marketing. <laughs> yeah, well, marketing purposes would serve him more if he got people uh, hooked on wine, but uh, we Raj didn't do that. The kiso is kishinose venosein im bene adam im be emuna hu ose. Oh, I, I, this is, I've never read the Rashi's on this. I thought the kiso is what you spend your money on, you oh, know? No, I always thought it was like how greedy it is. Oh, okay, interesting. So I guess we're both wrong because he says if you are uh, honest in doing business, okay? And then Picasso, I, I, I took it more like, you know, are you going to put your money where your mouth is in terms of like, you see what a person really spends. Oh, I got to tell you a terrifying question. Sorry, hold on a second. Uh, sorry, this is, um, this is, I, I uh, okay. So I'm listening to uh, Tim Ferriss' interview of James Clear, okay, author of Atomic Habits, and it's a very good interview. I mean, not surprising, but, you know, James Clear is really uh, a fan of like, like asking questions. So I thought this amazing question, which is good for everyone to ask themselves, especially like as we're going into break, you know, if someone just looked at your actions and didn't hear anything you said, what would they say your priorities are? Uh, okay, which is an amazingly powerful question, right? Like a person will say, uh, let's say like the uh, the minion thing, right? Like a person says like, oh, I value going to minion and, you know, but let, let's say they didn't hear anything you said about it. They just like looked at, you know, 
It's just a, it's a terrifying question, you know, uh, but th that's kind of how I, I looked at it with uh, the, the co uh, Kiso is that a person could say what they value. But the question is, what are you actually spending your money on or what are you spending your time on? But, you know, you know the, the money is, uh, um, that's how I viewed it. But okay, anyway. And then Picasso is Sheino Kaptan Yosemidai, that he's not excessively mockbid. That's interesting. He doesn't even learn it as, uh, as actual cost. He learns it as Hakpada, you know? Okay, fine. All right, how are we learning? But so, uh, again, this is one where it's like impossible to tell whether it was just a truncated yud, oh, sorry, truncated vav, you know, or whether that's alluding to that idea, but whatever. Okay. At least we, we got, we got some approach there. All right. So when you look at the cup with your eye, yishalich b'meisharim. I think yishalich was referring to the guy. Yeah, you will go. Oh, sorry. This is when he looks at the cup. When he looks at the cup with his eye. Yeah. He will go. He will go in uprightness. Yeah. He will walk in uprightness. Yeah, that's that's strange. Okay, fine. All right. So then we have that it changes the uh this puzzle seems to change the uh the person in the puzzle, no? Yeah, so I think or we maybe not. Right. So I think we uh we noted this last week when we looked at the whole paragraph that it starts off by talking about it in the third person. Um and then it's gonna switch to the second person and then it's gonna switch to the first person. Right. Yeah, it's very interesting. Okay. All right. So then uh, well, let me just make sure that we will be able to hear Isaac when he does choose to speak. All right. We're good on the speakers and we're good on the volume. Well, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. All right. Um, all right. So then we have 32, which is, uh, where are we here? Acheriso kenachash yishach uktifoni yafrish. Acheriso? is like Almost. Yes, fate. Yeah, his his, his 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 literally his end. Okay, his fate um, is kinachash like yishach. Yeah, it's like a snake bite, right? It's like a snake that bites. Uktsifoni yafrish. I think it's sifoni. You want? I just want to click on the B two B. Rashi mentioned in this past week's parasha. Uh, with the sifoni. Yeah. That I, does I, that does sound familiar. I read it, and it was just so familiar, and then I, was, I must have read it somewhere else, and it was just a literally twist of humor. Ah, interesting. Yeah, poisonous serpent, usually taken as the following. Okay, Tifoni is a venomous viper, but vipers do not lay eggs. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> okay. Um, that could be in, in response to I'm a guru. Mm -hmm. I'm a guru. Like, oh, yeah? I don't know. know. <laughs> also, there's yeah. a story about like, a hydro in the Gamora somewhere. Okay. I, Okay, I don't know which one refers to. That's right. That's a, that's a, yeah, no, I know that. I'm just like, so right. Like, right. I just like how everyone's associating to very, very specific yeah. stories when, for all we know, there could be many references to Vipers in the corner. No, no. Okay. Um, must be the one I saw. All right. Um, uh, and like a, I'll say Venomous Viper because that's a fun uh, Venomous Viper uh, alliteration. Um, Yafish. Yafish is weird, right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I would think it is. But Yafrish is, is it, he will declare, make distinct, pierce, be stung. Okay, right. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the one that it means here. Uh, he will, he will, uh, yeah, he will, yeah, sting. He will sting, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I'm getting the uh, Yishach, right? He will, right? Oh, he will. Thank you. Um, Okay, uh, 33. Kishochi Belevyan. So now he changes. Sorry, no. 33. Einecha Yuru Zaros. Your eyes. Yeah. We'll see strangeness. We'll see strangeness. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Duplicities. Yeah, that's, I think that's our school's favorite word for, for Tapuchos. Reversals, right? Like Hafach. Um, and he'll be like, um, you'll be like someone who's laying in the heart of the sea. Yeah, who is uh, who is lying in the heart of the sea. Who kishochi broshchi bel? I think we uh, we had to look this one when we read it last week. And like one who lies down at the top of a of a mast of the ship. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, Hikuni, now this is your choice, the first one. Hikuni Balhalisi. Hit me. Yeah, hit me. Uh, or I think it's I think it's in past tense. He hit me. Uvalhalisi. I didn't, I think Khal is I didn't fall. I think so. Uh, I didn't fall. 
halamuni. Okay, I think that's another word for a hit. So he battered me. I think um, halumos are are like um, blows. Baya uh, dati. I didn't know. Masai um, akit. When will I wake up? Osif avakshenu od. Continue to request more. Yeah, I continue to seek, uh, to seek more. Yeah, Oops, continue to seek more. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's 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 uh, our, our our attempt here. So let, now let's look at. Um, okay, so let's just look really quickly. Mitzus tion says yes. Adam is milashon odem. It means from redness. Sifoni is a humin nachash. This type of snake. Zaros is milashon zarv nechar. We got that. Chalisi is milashon chuli. Oh, so he becomes sick. Uh, so we got to add this here. I did not. Didn't become sick. Okay, or fall. Um, Akit is to wake up. Ayir uh, minashena. Oh, halumuni is inyano makos hamishabros as a breaking blows. Okay, Sadigon says not much here. Vitein lecha bekos mar ehu. Interesting. So I think he's saying when you put that appearance on a kos. These health mission because Mare is an appearance, right? You fast to RV Mare. Um, so I suppose when you put your eye on it, I don't know what that means. Um uh, let me get the uh yeah. I think yeah, uh I only know the word mar il from Maos Tour. Tar Ela, the coast. Um, no, uh, what, what's the the verse that has Raal? Yin Raal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so I think it means. I think it's like bitterness or poison. Uh, let's see here. Mar Al, Mar Il, Here Il. Probably be under Here Il, unless I just have look up Raal. Here Il is is to poison or envenom. I don't know. In venom was a word, and then manumarim. Isn't manumar spotted or speckled? I don't know. Like a like a leopard. Yeah, isn't that the yeah, namer is a? I think they say is a leopard. Unless that's a modern Hebrew word. Manumar. Where are we here? Manu manoira. Manumar is a spotted model or speckled. Mar il kmanumarim shabehem. You become speckled like the, or sorry, you become poisoned like the speckled among them. Does that happen when you have a lot of wine? <laughs> oh, okay. That could be, it could be a symptom of a liver loss. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I have no idea what I was getting at. And he says, so uh, he, he, he says, um, so he translates it as instead of Yadabir, he translates it as will think because he says, because the heart doesn't uh, speak. Okay. And then Ode is forever. Okay, fine. We're not even going to look up all the Jastro words. All right, sorry, sorry, Jastro. All right. Um, okay, so let's look at all the English here. Got a lot here. So our scroll: Who cries alas? Who cries woe? Who is contentious? Who prattles? Who is wounded for naught? Whose eyes are red? Those who linger over wine, those who come to inquire over mixed drinks, do not look at wine becoming red. For to one who fixes his eye on the goblet, that's yitain eno because of eno, all paths are upright. So he learns it as our school learns it as. Yeah, key, uh, right. Ki yitain bakos eno, when he puts his eye on the coast, meaning for a person who does that, he will walk up brightly in his mind, right? Like that's kind of like how he's trying to, to say it, right? All paths, uh, what does it say? All paths are upright. Are upright. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, we're going to have to say something like that. 32, his end is like one bitten by a snake, like one dispatched by a serpent. Your eyes will see strange things and your heart will seek duplicities. Speak to Pilsies. And you will be like one who sleeps in the heart of the sea, like one who lies on top of a mast. In your drunkenness, you will say, uh, so the, it adds in here, uh, quotation marks. In your drunkenness, you will say, they struck me, but I did not become ill. They beat me, but I was unaware. Vayadati, right? I was unaware. When will I awaken? I will continue asking for more wine. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so that's our scroll. Living Nach says, to whom woe, to whom grief, to whom strife, to whom chatter, to whom wounds without cause, to whom bleary eyes, those who linger over wine, to those who test the mix. Do not ogle... <laughs> I've only learned, heard of ogling, like ogling a woman, you know? Yeah. Uh, do not ogle wine as it reddens. Like I'm picturing like the wolf with the, uh, the, the eyes and the, you know, the salivating uh, the, uh, the, the wine. For he who sets his eye on a cup walks in self-righteousness. Self-righteousness, that's interesting. Mm. Okay. Um, in the end, it bites him like a snake and stings like a viper. Your eyes will gaze upon 
Uh, yeah, I saw this in the thing. This has to be a typo. This is not my typo, but it has to be female strangers. They must have just juxtaposed the uh, the S. Right, Zaros, he's learning as like Zar, Zara, Zarot, you know, like uh, strange women, um, which is connecting it to the previous uh, cluster, right? Your heart will utter perversities. You will be like one who lies down and lies down to sleep in open seas, like one who lies down to sleep on the head of a mast. They struck, as he also puts in quotes here, right? Because it's in first person. They struck me, but I was not hurt. They battered me, but I did not feel it. Oh, when I when will I wake up so that I can again look for some more? So it's, it's making it into like a, a yearning uh, exclamation. Okay, altar. For whom alack, for whom alas, for whom strife, for whom complaint, for whom needless wounds, for whom bloodshot eyes. Those who linger over wine who come to try mixed drink. Do not regard wine in its redness when it shows its hue in the cup going down smoothly. Okay, so he says going down smoothly. Um, all right, we did this last time that it was a riddle. Uh, in its redness, literally as it shows red, going down smoothly. So this is an interesting thing. The phrase Yishalech B'Mesharim is elucidated by its use of song, uh, of song 710 in reference to the beloved's palate, which is like goodly wine. Amusingly, the language of this verse in Proverbs intended as a warning against wine is repeatedly used in Hebrew drinking poems of medieval Andalusia as a celebration of the glories of wine. Okay, mm-hmm. fine, yeah. I mean, I guess there aren't a lot of psukim uh, about wine that can be interpreted uh, positively, I don't know. But yeah, so he's saying, um, Going down smoothly. I mean, I, I, we have to look at it in Song of Songs. I like the movies making and saying you, you should interpret Michelet based on Shir Shir because it's Shlomo Melov, but all right, we'll, we'll, we'll just take his word for it for now. Um, in the end, it bites like a snake and like a viper spews its poison. What was the, the Hebrew word there? Um, uh, uh, no, uh, but for the verb, uh, Yish. Yeah, Yifarish, I think. Yifar, yafrish, yeah. Yes, uh, he's not learning it as he, correct? He's learning it as the viper, right? Is the wine, I think it's... Oh, it's, in oh it's, yeah, 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 right, right. It bites, wine. it bites the wine, right, correct? Yeah, that's a good point. Your eyes will see strange things. Your heart will speak perverseness and you'll be like one who, so he says perverseness, not, um, not uh, what do we say? Uh, duplicities, yeah, let me, I'm going to add this perverseness. Yeah, perverseness, I don't think it has the same connotation as in English. Yeah, in fact, I'm not going to do that because it, it rever- yeah, reversals is really the, the thing, you know, so perverse in the sense that it is the opposite of what is right, but not perverse as in like in English has like a sexual connotation. Um, and you will be like one who beds in the sea, um, who beds on top of the rigging. I guess he's trying to like preserve the lush of Shochev, uh, like Mishkov. Um, they struck me. I felt no hurt. They beat me. I was unaware. When will I wake? I will look for it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and let's see what he says here. Uh, like one who beds in the sea, who re- beds on top of the rigging, the simile produ- provides a striking satiric image of the wobbliness of the drunkard. In a characteristic move of atten- intensification from the first verse to the second, the drunken person is not merely like someone trying to sleep in the surging sea, but like someone lying up in the rigging as the ship pitches about, right? I mean, it's definitely, you're going to get more motion from the mast, I guess, than from closer to the, the waters. Uh, they struck me, but I felt no hurt. The drinker is too stupefied by alcohol to realize that he has been beaten. The words loop back to the riddle question, for whom needless wounds? All right, when will I wake? I will look for it again. A lot of commentary from Alter here. At the end of this satiric vignette, the alcoholic remains true to his addiction. Still in a half stupor as he pronounces these words, he is in no condition to go out and get more wine. But as soon as his mind clears a bit, this is just what he means to do. That's somewhat of an interpretation, but uh, but um, uh, he's trying, I think, explain why it's which is the first person to like depict that. Okay, so we got to work cut out for us here, eh? Yeah, let me just move these. I'm going to keep all the, the, the translations there. Yeah. Yeah, see, th- this is a good example, by the way, why I um, am always intimidated when I learn the... Clusters? Uh, uh, yeah, clusters, but specifically the first nine Pesukim, uh, uh, and Mishlei, because uh, you have to take these giant chunks of Pesukim uh, when you learn the first nine uh, nine chapters. And so you have to, like, look at it with a bird's eye view. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Isaac? Um. So um, what does it mean to um, look at wine when it is becoming red? Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, we might have to focus on I, I, yeah. whether the, bed, the best thing to do is have all the questions or just the major questions, right? whatever, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I have a thought about what the best approach might be. Yeah, what's the best approach? Um, I think 31 is this, describing a, a, a mistake that a person might make. Okay. Saying, don't do... 31 uh-huh. uh, and then um 32 through 34 35 is explaining the consequences yeah um, okay i think that's a good approach yeah and um it's interesting because i think practically speaking um 30 30 and 31 are going to be 
the most important in terms of uh, identifying the behavior or the person we're talking about here. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, because as we said from last time, that it is directing our eye towards a certain type of, uh, of person who has a certain type of relationship with wine. Yeah, I think that's a good approach. So we'll keep our eye on those. Yeah. Yeah, the way in which Alter translates 32 is radically different. Is that something that- Let's see, 32. Is... And, and it bites like a snake and it's viper, like a viper, it spews its poison. Um, yeah, so let's say in 32. Are we like who, accepting that as or, a- Let's say who or what is the subject of 32, okay? Uh, is it the, the drunkard or the wine? Right. That's yeah. The, yeah. But alter, you would say that alter greeting is acceptable. I would say it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I. I think. And the difficult part also is how did the other one say it? It bites him. Maybe. Hold on. Maybe, maybe we're wrong. Yeah. It sounds. You no. Know, so, so our school translates it as as him. Yeah. His end is like one bitten by a snake. I think. I think the living knock and alter fit in better with the verb because the verb is not um passive. It's active. It it bites. It stings. Right. Yishaf, Yafrish, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but but the fact that Arsenal does it to me means that, like, grammatically, it is uh, it is an acceptable way. Mm -hmm. Ezra, um, in twenty in thirty one, yeah, yeah. Why should we not look at the wine if it's gonna if we're gonna walk in the upper? Right yeah. So I think we have to first ask here, um, what does it mean to Yishalech b'meisharim in? uh 31 right and this sounds good um and if so uh why uh why is this a reason for the first half yeah is there a way to read it as like was not written positively by Alter. Uh, correct the yeah yeah he's saying it goes out to the yeah that one i'm not so sure about um uh i mean i i you know i believe he has some basis for it but just to show you the um the first encounter, I don't know if this is going to make a difference to us, but uh, he saw that Misharim is related to the goals of Mishlei, seemingly, yeah. right? Is, uh, is, Lakachas Musar Haskel Misharim, right? Uh, from Yashar, right? Mm -hmm. So Yisal Ben Misharim is usually, um, is usually a good thing. Yeah. Good, right? Yeah, usually good. Yeah. And I'm trying to think, though, hold on a second. How, how do we read the Hebrew here? Ki, uh, Alter Yankees Adam, he yitain bakos eno. See, you know, what would be tempting to read this as is it'd be tempting to read he yitain bakos eno as the person who avoids the mistake in the first half. That person will walk with me, Shireen, but it's hard to read yitain bakos eno, you know, mm -hmm. unless you're going to say it like this, like, and this is not an interpretation, I'm just trying to say like how to read it. If you look at wine when it's becoming red, that's like the bad decision, but looking at the cup is the good decision. And looking at the cup will make you walk in uprightness, but looking at the wine becoming red will make will lead to all these bad things. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure here. Living not also does not translate to positive. Uh, right. Yeah, self-righteousness. He who sets his eye on the cup walks in self-righteousness. Yeah, yeah. 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 Presuming, assuming that self-righteousness is like, we say self-righteousness is bad, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, on, on that, like, it seems like, like 31, until like 35. Yeah. Like it seems like it's giving a different characters of some people, you know, drink wine. Giving different characters or different consequences? Because I I, I, I think Isaac's reading is the more macho one that it's, uh, it's these are consequences. Um, what do you see characters? Well, like 31, you know, it seems like, you know, you're, you know, because like, like if you kind of think about it, like wine was kind of like a, like more of like a luxurious drink back then. Mm -hmm. You know, people who hold it or were, at least, at least according to Living Not, like, you could be like self indulging and like you can like oh like look at me I'm like better than you right yeah right you put someone in the yeah, so no I, I get thirty one but you're saying thirty two through thirty five yeah at thirty two it, it it seems like you know in the end it bites him like a snake and stings like a viper um I'm wondering if that's referring to like the the, the individual who kind of like like lashes out on people because you uh huh can, yeah so you're you're like, learning it more like um uh. I guess it's more of a question. So you're, you're, you're learning it. You're, you're, so there's really three ways. All right, sorry. There's three ways to learn um, uh, 32, right? So is, is it, yeah. So is it describing what the drunk person does or what happens to him? 
or what the wine does. Yeah. All right. So in other words, um, Alter and Levinach say, sorry, no. Um, we said, uh, Ariel saying he lashes out and he bites, right? Art Sproul is saying he gets bitten. He's like one who's bitten and one who's stung. And then Livingnach and Alter are saying um, that the wine does this to him, right? Yeah, so it's ambiguous here. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, the, the general question we have here is what are the consequences in oops, consequences in 31, sorry, 32 through 35. Yeah. It's just hard to ask point, point to the question. Yeah, I mean, you could ask what each of, the, each of the ones is, but yeah. And then what's the, uh, and then we also have to ask in a general sense here, um, what is the main idea of the entire cluster? And then um, how can, we uh, what is the uh, what is the logic of the order? Um, and um, I think specifically, specifically, um, what is the relationship between twenty nine thirty and thirty one through thirty five? See, because this is why I broke it up last week. Is that Def, well, we saw from last week, 21 and 30 can definitely, sorry, 29 and 30 can definitely stand on their own because that's like the introduction of the topic. Um, 31 is very much like 30, but this is actually the first thing that tells you not to do something, right? So that leads me to believe that it's separate. And then the fact that like, as observed, the fact that 32 through 35 seems to be like following from 31 seems to be that this is its own unit. So that's why I'm seeing this as like 29, 30 is one thing, 31 through 35 is another, yeah. So I'm inclined to see 32 as part of the first part. Okay. Just part of, uh, yeah, the first right? two. Yeah. yeah. Reading it more like Alter. Yeah. Just because it switches tenses uh, right at 33, right? It right. Switches so the future tense? To you. You mean subjects or tense or position? Yeah, sorry. It switches subject. Yeah. Right. Uh, in 33. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so that seems to be like a well, yeah. So, so it is, I, yeah, I guess we should let's just be clear here that 31 is imperative directed to you, right? You should not, I'll tear a yang kiss Adam, yeah, and then immediately it switches for it. to for, yeah, for it, right? So now it's still an it in 30, and then oh, I see what you're saying, right? And then it's I see, okay, so you're saying all 31 to 32 is all directed at the person, okay, that makes right. sense, okay, that, that, that's that's a good, uh, that's a good observation, yeah. Yeah, that, that is, you're, you're definitely persuading me more to go by Alter's uh, reading. Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, hang on to the question of like, what's the consequence? I think yeah. Um, <clears throat> 35 seems a little bit of a strange consequence. Like, it seems like he's like leading up to all this, and then it's like, I got hit, but it didn't really do anything to me. Yeah. Was like, right? right. And then, like, if someone hits you and you don't know about it, I mean, maybe you know about it tomorrow, but like, yeah. It just doesn't sound like this is such a, uh, such a bad consequence. Right. So, I, I do think, though, that, um, uh, I'm inclined uh, to go with the way same way Alter went, which is that this is referring back to the Lumi Patan Klinam. He's like, the guy doesn't feel that he got hit, you know, but he is actually being wounded, you know. Um, well, so then specifically the, the first thing he said, he says, Hikuni uh, Bal Khalisi, right? Yeah. Meaning, that sounds like it didn't have an effect. Uh, or the guy saying it didn't have an effect, right? You know, like in other words, I, I think just to. Um, do we read someone who said that the chachlilus enayim has to do with the uh, the sick, like you 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 become diseased yeah. from the uh, lots of wine drinking? You know, yeah. that might be also a reference back to that, which is that like the guy who's like getting drunk very frequently thinks that he's not actually destroying his body, but he, he over time he, he he does. Yeah, I was going to say something. I was going to say I didn't think that was a brainy on now. Rabinio, okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, does. So Hayden's question about 35 being a weird consequence. Yeah. Is 35 then this guy's explanation or his line of thinking of why he's drinking so much that the, oh, see, I'm going to search for this more because I've gotten hit and didn't even hurt me. I've gotten, or I That's a good question. Gotten, it seems like this is like, I'm doing this because these bad things would have happened to me and at the right in the moment. That's interesting, yeah. The consequence. Yeah, okay. So let me, I'm going to just ask this in a vague way. Okay, what is the relationship between 35 and the rest and also within 35? 
Okay, right? Like, uh, like, because Chaim's pointing out that this does seem to be, well, first of all, just in terms of the way it's phrased, it does seem to be expressed differently, right? And it, this could have easily been expressed in the second person, right? It could have said, you know, you're going to get struck and not feel it, and then you're going to like look for more stuff, you know, but it's being expressed in the, in, 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 uh, the first person. And then, and then David's asking about, is there a cause and effect relationship between the first half and the second half, right? Like, like if I got hit and I, and I became sick, or if I got battered and I knew about it, then I might not wake up and seek more. But because I didn't, then I will wake up and seek more. Is that? And that's why he's keep right. thinking. Because right. He's not seeing the effects. So are you proposing that like, that's called a halvamina here? This, the, this person is not, yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, Isaac. By the way, just one, one tip, Isaac. I know you're the only one on Zoom. If you do the hand raising thing, I see it. I can't really see what you're doing when you're... Uh, you know, okay. it's a very small screen. So, but the okay. hand thing shoots it up to the top, and then I see the icon. Yeah. Okay. So, um, noted. Um, yeah. Are we ready for ideas? Um, I don't know. Are we? I feel like there's a lot of other questions. Yeah, there are a lot of other questions. But the question is, do we want to? Uh, do we? Yeah. Do I don't think we want to like list all the questions. Right. Yeah. For how many days are we spending on this? Well, we have the week. Oh, the week. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, um, the other the other approach is just just ask questions on each pasuk and. Instead of generalizing, but I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know clusters. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. The worst year of Mishlei learning with Rami Moskowitz was when he wanted to. Again, he's always is always trying out different uh, drachim. You know, so there was one summer where we only did Mishlei in clusters, and he he would take like like let's uh, imagine like the parak we did. You know, like well, our parak actually had real clusters, but he would. In my opinion, C clusters were, <laughs> or the clusters didn't necessarily have to exist. You know, he would take like huge swaths of psukim. Let's say like in ten, right? When we have like all these psukim about um like, about the tzaddik and the Russia, yeah. he would take the entire thing and say like, what's the main idea of like these these ten psukim? You know, mm -hmm. uh, and like it it was it was beneficial, but it was it it, it graded at me because like I you know I couldn't stand to, like yeah. Well, at least I mean at least it trains you to think a different way. Yeah, definitely did. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I think we should start. My intuition says we should start figuring out ideas and then get into the particular questions through the uh, through the ideas. Yeah. All right, Isaac, you got something? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm building off of what we said last week about the first tips of him. Okay. That, um, someone who tries to have like a sophisticated relationship with wine. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. But I think 31 is uh, like showing uh, is like, um, you know, the person tells himself that he just likes wine as a sophisticated thing. Yeah. And then, but like, really, you know, he's betrayed by the fact that he, um, yeah, like when the wine is getting, is like still developing, he's like checking it. He's like, you know, is it like, is it ready yet? You know, <laughs> it's still reddening. He's like, yeah. is it ready yet? And he's like, you know, um, interesting. Yeah. I guess we have, we have to understand, uh, factually what the looking at wine when it's becoming red means right because i didn't think of it that way like that when it's being made although i i can hear that because first of all can you do you do that like no you don't open it yeah right right yeah that's what i'm saying i don't think you can open it. so i was looking at it as um people who i was taking the same approach as you but like people who are appreciating the color of the wine which is a thing that that like you, you 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 know when you taste wine you involve all your senses and people talk about the color of the wine i don't know why it's yis adam where it's becoming red but i don't know if you have to say that it means becoming red literally it could just be in terms of like you know uh wine and it's reddening like in terms of like the way that you're appreciating the red something like that oh that's also true right right uh, um that uh Right, that that's presumably I've never done this, but presumably the undiluted wine is going to be darker than the right. diluted wine. Right. But how does it? I guess my question is, how does it affect you just by doing looking at like what? About uh, what's the um? What's the uh, the phrase in Chazal that a blind man can't be satisfied? Uh, um, in a uh, summa. Satisfied. <laughs> yeah, something. Like that. But but that's the, the um, and same reason why like if you eat in the dark. You can't like enjoy the food uh, because part of the um, or the modern example is if you take sushi and you go, <laughs> it's not as tasty because uh, it looks, you know, part of the appeal of sushi is the way that it looks. But like the point is, is that um, uh, the presentation in any uh, taiva, not just food, but in any taiva, um, the visuals is going to be instrumental in, in fueling the fantasy. And the vast majority of the enjoyment comes from the fantasy, not from the well, physical. 
Yeah. I know. My, my like my question is what why specifically while it's turning red versus I have a great bottle of Gilgal and it's beautifully red and I'm doing well, this. I, I'm saying it's the same thing. I mean that's my job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I'm also going to be on the lookout for different interpretations. Yes, Adam. I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's a weird phrase, no matter how we take it. I mean, I like what you're saying with the mixing it. Yeah. yeah. So my question is stronger because, like, I'm just trying to understand, like, like if, when I, because we have, you know, like those glass see-through cups. Right? Yeah. We look at it every shop as we, you know, we look at it, like, does it does it affect us? Yeah. I, I don't know, I, but it's I think so. like this is talk, talking about it in a negative way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so because it's saying that this is the mistake. Like yeah, and the mistake is if you if you give into that uh, that, uh, that draw. Yeah, that, that's what Isaac's saying. Yeah, yeah. Isaac, sorry, I I cut you off because I think that is a mistake to think he's checking on it while it's being made. But if can you still say what you're gonna say? Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm well, I'm saying that whatever this mistake is, it's right. betraying that really the you know it's you know it's evidence that really he's not just relating to it as like a thing that he's <laughs> like you know. A sophisticated thing that he's doing but then he could he's like setting aside because he he's really like drawn towards it right um, whatever whatever this mistake is right um, um i want to point out by the way enayim tere eno enecha yeah yeah that's i haven't heard on that okay good yeah. <laughs> yeah. um yeah so um yeah so um Okay, so I I have a thought about then the what the last pasuk is. Yeah, is that you know I think that the you know thirty two through thirty four are like you know explaining consequences. Yeah, and then thirty five is the guy um because of the nature of of the of wine he doesn't um like you know, he, he, in a certain sense, doesn't experience, the, like, experientially, he doesn't feel the consequences, yeah. and so he's going to keep going more. Like, you know, if he gets, you know, like, drunk and then gets into a fight and gets beat, beat up, you know, he doesn't feel the blows when they're happening. Um, and so he's, like, in a certain sense, like, like he feels like, a, like a, a certain, like, you know, like, sense of separation from the consequences. Right. So, um, so then when he when he wakes up, you know, he doesn't, you know, he might be like, oh, I'm achy and whatever, you know, and, right. and I mean, but he doesn't associate that to the drunkenness. Right. Like, you know, people like, you know, people talk about having like like a like a like a um like a drunken invincibility. Like right. that's a thing that people say because there's this feeling of invincibility because you don't feel pain, you're not like like experiencing the pain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but obviously you're not invincible. You just you just don't feel it. And you get right. So just to get shot of what you're saying, are you saying that the invincibility is in his state of drunkenness or after his state of drunkenness? Um, is in his state of drunkenness. Okay. Right. Um. And so, so, so when he wakes up, then then you're saying that he's still drunk. No, I'm. Well, I'm saying then he then, um, even though he might be in pain afterwards, he doesn't associate the pain to the drunkenness. Uh huh. Such that he'll keep he'll go for, he'll repeat the mistake because um he doesn't he doesn't see the consequences as consequences of having um been drinking yeah i i have a hard time believing that i mean I yeah i mean I, i'm not totally opposed to it but i have a hard time believing that, like if you get into let's say like the the guy we were saying before guy gets into a bar fight and gets beat up knows that he got into a bar fight yeah, because he was know, drinking, he right? Drunk he was, to be fair. If he was really drunk, he wouldn't have him. No, but if he wakes up with a black eye, it's true. Right, then he's gonna know it came from the drinking. Like I don't I don't think like but I have a thought on why yeah. he continues more though. Yeah. And especially after he wakes up. Yeah. It's like like Isaac said, you don't feel it when you're drunk, right? Yeah. You have that drunk invincibility. Then you wake up and you're like, oh my hand, you feel yeah. like every and you're just like, I'm just gonna drink more because right. I'm drunk, I'm invincible. Yeah, yeah, right. So then you're just like yeah that, that to me that's now, a much I'm more like, that fits in I feel the pain and I'm just going to go for more. You know? Right. Yeah. That, to me, that fits in much more with the, with the, uh, just experientially, like the, you know, like you, you, you know, you, um, you want 
relief from the uh, the pain or whatever. Yeah, think of a perm. Like, yeah, those were right. Right. Constipated. Yeah, right. And it's painful, and yet we do it every year. Well, I mean, again, that that is the uh, you know what I don't even know why they call it this. Must be some sort of a phrase, but the hair of the dog, right? That people think that when you are I don't know what it actually it, it does. Yeah, is oh, you is drinking yeah, more in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, it's like it's it's a phenomenon, right? Right. So so I think that that saying that thing works well with the entire thirty five then, right? Meaning. The first half, yeah, he's talking about when he's drunk, yeah, and then he and then he didn't know it, he couldn't feel it, and then he wakes up, and then he's like, everything just crashes on him, and he's yeah. like, I'm gonna go get more, yeah, and then the whole cycle, yeah, starts. I think that's a good, good shot, yeah. Like, the process of translating my Thai in 35 is not like when will I ask a question, but like, Kesha and Yaki, is that um, possible? it is possible according to my loose definitions. Uh, you, you, you have to ask, know. like, the uh, you'd have to ask the um. People like uh, the Malvin, I think. Uh, but let me just click on. I'm not. I was not even aware that Matai is a biblical Hebrew word. Um, let me just see how often it appears. Oh, apparently it appears. Wait, unless let's see what is this? When? Uh, yeah, I, I'd have to look at these cases. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, because the way that we're trans, I mean, you do seem to be talking about it more as like Kishani versus. Yeah, you're right. When I wake up, I will look for more, right? Not, oh, when will I wake up, right? Yeah. Sean, you want to say your eye approach? Yeah. So I wanted to say, okay, so there's the first part is him looking at wine. Yeah. Right. And I want to say that in the way in which he looks at wine, then the consequence is in his sight, right? Yeah. And, and translating say a little loosely, right? So the. Um, yes, how we Yeah, okay. So I really want to start with answering the question of he will walk in uprightness. Yeah. And so to answer that, I'm going to add in like a word that it's not he's walking, but his eyes will walk in uprightness. Okay. Meaning that his eyes are going to be looking or like going straight forward. Meaning yeah. Usually what happens is you have like your eyes are appealed to something, something looks good to you to do. Yeah. Right? But then you have other senses and other thoughts going through your head that are telling you, even though this thing looks like a good thing to do, don't do it. Yeah. Right. When you start to drink, your eyes are like the things that look appealing to you. Yeah. Have a lot more sway over you. Yeah. Than they originally had. Right. right? And so because he's become engrossed in wine and he's engaged his sight and his appetite yeah. in wine through sight. So then the way in which he, his eyes work is that they're straight. There's nothing that's holding the eyes back or directly going to whatever it is that they want to. Uh -huh. right? And so when you do that, it might seem good. It might look good to you. Yeah. But in the end, the wine is really like a snake that bites. It's really something that's poisoning you. It's um, undermining the other senses and the other thoughts and ideas that are in your mind. Yeah. Um, and then your eyes will see strangeness, meaning your eyes are going to be focusing on things that are actually bad for you and strange for you. But it's going to be focusing on them and seeing them as a good and your heart will speak to publicity or your heart is going to be then like aligning with those things yeah and your desires um and you'll be yeah, and then then it shifts into like what type of person you're going to be you're going to be a person who's completely oblivious to the surroundings um and it's just yeah. going okay so so let me just reiterate what sean how sean is reading 31 and then just add some of my own observations here to, to that approach so he's saying alter yankees adam do not look at wine when it's becoming red key team because a no because when he puts his eye singular on the cup it will walk in uprightness meaning yeah. the eye will walk in uprightness right which means that he'll see things as being you know uh, uh good or or not consequential or whatever what I'm wondering, and this is not a new approach, but just a, a, a possibility here. What I'm wondering is whether 33 and 34, uh, and maybe even 35, but most likely 33 and 34, are extensions of the snake bite muscle. That when you get bitten by a venomous snake, I don't know what kinds of snakes were around back then, but delirium yeah. being being a thing, you know, from from you know, and it's an interesting thing just in terms of 32 observation just on its own, not dependent on any person's idea, but snake bites are it's you get bitten which the venom is there but then it affects you like at a delay you know yeah. at a, you know it yeah poisons the other senses and it just right your correct vision towards things yeah which are yeah i think this is a promising approach yeah let's just get the other approach on the table and then we'll stop for today yeah as well. on Sean's approach. yeah is it possible to read as key eating back coast you know you saw the information i don't think so uh and we'll just let's just confirm that i probably wanted to read it also yeah yeah uh 
I'll tell you, Yankees. Yeah. Key, you think about close A no, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you have to read the way I was reading it for um, Sean. Yeah, I have one, I have one maybe tweak or, or something. Like that. Yeah, 33. Don't, don't worry with Sean's approach. Yeah, well, I think it's to work with any of them. But going with Sean's approach, that like it's all about changing like the eye. So, meaning like the eye is yeah. now looking for this. So, once he gets bitten by the snake, uh, then he's like feeling pain. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I want to say. Then his eye sees strangeness in the sense that his eye thought that this was a good thing. Yeah. And now that he's feeling the pain, he's like, oh, this is a bad thing. But then right. the heart kicks in and says, no, 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 don't worry. Like, this is uh, a good thing. You know? Interesting. So leave like these ever taboos about, the, about the wine and about the drinking. Yeah, yeah. Right. Then you have, like, this That's interesting. The eye and the heart. Yeah. And then, because, I mean, heart in the sense of, like, it's become more, like, internalized. Yeah. And then you get into, like, this, I don't really know, how to, you know I don't know about 34. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, I was just thinking about that for 33. Right. That's good. Oh, by the way, just one other thing also, just in terms of 34. Um, we were thinking maybe because of the altar uh, yeah. thing that it's talking about, like, Being how storm tossed you are. Yeah. But it's also an extremely dangerous thing to be in a storm tossed sea, especially if you're on the mast. You know, like, it is. So the, the danger could be the thing that it is... Uh, um, you yeah, know, and then being then that would fit into the being battered yeah. all about, you know. So why is in the heart of the sea? Does that mean like I don't, I don't mean, like does that mean like like at the bottom? Um, I don't think so. Like I middle? think in the middle of the sea, yeah, like in the, in the middle of the water, yeah. I yeah, think just right. yeah, I, oh uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, Isaac. Yeah, I was just gonna say about the, the 34. I think the danger of the first part is that um uh, is that if you just go to sleep, you know, let's say you're the only person on the boat. Um, yeah. you just you just go to sleep in the middle of the sea you they're both gonna totally drift off course um without you <laughs> knowing That's about it yeah. yeah and if you go to sleep in the top of the mast you're very likely to fall right um because it's, it's not like you know there aren't like supports for you know for right. sleep yeah Ezra? Okay, so um a separate point sure our approaches seem to look like taking 32 as saying that the state will be like a snake bite, like like one who was just bitten by a snake. Although the reading seems more like a snake that bites. Nachashi um, shah, right? Yeah. Okay, that's that's a good observation. I mean, I think this is in the Sean's approach. That it's the wine. Right. Him. Oh, right. right yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, and for me, there's that. this poeticness of he's looking at this thing in the beginning, and then he becomes blind to his surroundings. Yeah. Yeah, I think so also. All right, good. All right, this is this is a promising approaches here. So tomorrow, let's try to develop some of the approaches we have, and then we'll look at uh, the Mafarshim, which we're going to have to look at on entire clusters, like, you know, yeah. yeah. All right, sounds good. And now we want to reserve one day, Derek, Thursday for the Derek Nister. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. All right, <laughs> I, like, I, it pops in, it creeps in my mind, and I'm like, yeah.